name is Andy McQueen. I am a diabetic person and I, have, I was diagnosed uh, 23 years ago at that time. A relatively fit individual as I thought and it was just picked up as a side issue and an important medical I had for a, a fairly senior job. I come from a scientific background. Uh, I, I am a chemist so technical information in the written form is what I was used to in the early part of my career but there's no doubt in my opinion that um, videos, a visual presentation of data certainly simplifies it even for someone who is perhaps technically competent to read it. For people that perhaps struggle a little with technical content written form, I, I think they're excellent ideas. Uh, and what I find is that go, being going into the site on a monthly basis and looking at the graph, it, it reminds you of past mistakes. And we, we slip, there's no doubt about it. We, we're humans, we naturally slip in, in, in what we're eating from time to time. Um, so looking at your readings, for example, it, it certainly helps you and uh, to take stock, basically. So what I like about My Diabetes My Way site is that when you go into there, you can actually access just about everything you'll need to manage your own condition. Because my, my belief is that the key to diabetic control for me is good self-management, good information, and really access to healthcare professionals when you need it. This, this form, My Diabetes My Way, allows me to input data that I have into the Scottish Government site. And once it's there, it's actually accessible with any healthcare professional um, who, who is needed to provide me with information. I, I realise that some people might find it a little confusing. If you're not used to using computers, yes, it can perhaps be a little bit tricky. But the only way to learn is to either force yourself to do it or get someone who's a friend who will sit down with you and say this is how easy it is because sometimes it's better to get someone to show you how to use a computer than get a book on how to do it. Now different people access information or obtain information in different ways but my view is that if you have a friend there who knows what they're doing and can help you just get in once you've cracked that, once you've taken that initial step of, of registering with the with the programme and, and get your, getting your own password. You can access it from your own computer, you can access it from a, an internet cafe, a local library. There are ways to, to overcome that first hurdle, but once you've done it, it's probably the best source of information that's available to you. You can really find out just about anything you need to know to manage your condition on one site. That's, that's got to be worth pursuing and getting more people interested in.